details this morning about a century-old totem pole that's been sitting on the UNM campus for decades. Researchers say they've uncovered the history behind this relic. News 13 Sarah Yingling joins us live outside the museum where it's now being housed. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Crystal. Well, the 40-foot tall, one-ton totem pole sat outside of Maxwell Museum for decades, its origin unknown. It's now been moved inside after hundreds of hours of restoration. This is not something where you could just slap some paint on it. You have to, you, you wouldn't do that to the Mona Lisa and we won't do it to this. This whole process began with a detailed search for information about its past. UNM officials worked for a decade to discover the origin of the totem pole. They learned it originated in British Columbia in 1907, belonging to Chief Smith Seward of the Tilotus Nation tribe. How did it get here? The director of Maxwell Museum of Anthropology tells me the totem pole was actually stolen by a professor back in 1941. To do the family and the pole justice, it was moved inside to restore its beauty and physical condition. The decision was made that the pole should stay here, in part because of its current condition, but that it should be restored in a way that the family preferred. And just recently, the Smith family gave the university its stamp of approval at a blessing ceremony to let the university know that they're okay with it being here. However, if at any time the family does want it back in British Columbia, they can request to, for the university to send it back to them. Back to you. Well, Sarah, thanks so much. What a remarkable story. It took fifty to $60,000 to fully restore the totem pole. UNM officials say they're also working on a replica that will be placed back on the tribe's land in British Columbia. 